Here are the top three platforms for giving notes on videos. Now the first platform that I use is Frame.io. Now if you don't use one of these platforms, you are missing out, especially if you're working with clients and there's a lot of people involved with giving notes. What's great about Frame.io is that you can go to specific moments in a timeline in a video and add comments at that spot. So rather than creating a list of timestamps and your notes on a document, you can actually visually see where the client or your creative partner needs something to be changed or has a comment about a certain section. What's great about frame.io is that you can also paint arrows, you can create circles, you can do things where you can really pinpoint what needs to be changed in the frame. What it can also do is download all the notes into a CSV so you can have it nicely uploaded to Google Sheets. You can see all the notes in text form. So I like frame.io and a lot of people in the industry use it from small businesses to even large companies like Amazon. What's next is Vimeo. Now we all use Vimeo for posting your reels, have a really pretty player that plays high quality videos. Now Vimeo also added review tools, which acts like frame.io and allows you to send review links to your clients or your team so that people can leave notes at specific moments in the timeline as comments. And Vimeo has been around for a long time. So people either have a Vimeo account or they're used to seeing the word Vimeo in the URL. When they see frame.io, they wonder, do I have to download this and sign up? It's just easier for people to get accustomed to when it comes to a video review tool. So Vimeo to me is another great platform. Not only that, but if you have a really awesome Vimeo page with your whole portfolio, you can actually send it to a client and they can actually go into your Vimeo page and see the rest of your work. So you might get some new jobs or gigs from that. And last but not least, there's Whipster, which has been around for a while. And I just started to hear about it from my friends. And it's amazing because you can actually have notes inside of Premiere that turn up to be markers on your timeline. And it's much easier for you to see in your timeline where to make those changes. So as an editor, this could be super Super valuable than trying to get notes from frame.io and then apply it to the timeline. This all happens within your timeline. And Whipster has been around for a while, so they've really evolved the platform so that as a video editor and as a producer or a video business owner, they've made it so it integrates with Premiere and your editing softwares and it makes it easy for you to take those notes and apply it to your timeline.